So one of the things on my to-do list has been to check out some of the interesting ways you can get more interactive and create more compelling video chats and webinars. Check this out. So how about this for a way of adding a bit of interactivity to your video conferencing? I'm using Spaces. It's a VR application. Now, you need a Windows VR setup. So I'm here with my gaming PC and I got all the gear. So I'm here in my own little virtual world. And imagine if I was doing a presentation and I'm here and I can move around and the hands are going and I can create a lot more interactivity. I have a whiteboard. I could go off and put a presentation up here because I can share my desktop. And imagine being able to present to the, to the presentation as if you were at an event and going, hey, and blah, 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 right? So it's, it's not a bad experience. Now, I've got a whiteboard. Obviously, I've written hello here. Now, I got this app. I downloaded it this morning from the team at spaces.com. I've just started playing with it, so bear with me, right? But you can, you, can, you can start writing on the whiteboard. Get rid of that one, take a black pen, and I want to circle something, right? You get the idea. So as you get more used to the environment and using your hands, you can create a whole new level of interactivity. And I know a lot of folks are using virtual backgrounds, which are cool in Zoom, but hey, this brings it to a whole new level. Now, in the real world, you know the way we move the, the, the physical camera around so you get a better picture. Check this out. I'm picking up the camera. So I have a virtual camera. So I can move the camera around in my room. Oh, and I'm here in a winter setting. I can change the backgrounds. I can have all sorts of different settings because there are a whole lot of um, settings that I can use here. But I can move the camera around. So for, for, for a particular presentation, I could be talking about, I'm from here because I want to talk and talk this way. And then later on, I want to do something that, well, here's what's on my desktop. And you'll see over here that I'm doing this, this, and this, because I could be running a presentation on my, my main screen. So it's a secondary screen. And I've got a cat and the dog, and there's a squirrel over here. And these guys have thought of lots of things, right? It's very well done. Let's put a camera here. A fidget. I like fidgets. I can bounce it off things. Catch it again. Bounce it off something else. It's going to come back. Whoop. Bounce it over here. So if I'm in a meeting, where do I go? Oh, here we are. And someone's not paying attention, you can always go, oi, bounce a ball off them. Just think of the possibilities. Um, it's not for everyone. Would I use this in a executive meeting with, I don't know, Siemens and IBM? I don't know. I might because it creates a different level of engagement and a different level of experience. And by playing around and getting used to the environment, you could create a very compelling story. And imagine what you could do with, for kids with this, or for just creating interactive uh, content. It, it's very clever. It's the best one I've come across. And you stream it into Zoom, uh, Skype, Teams, whatever application you're using because it, your virtual environment appears to the video conferencing software as another uh, webcam. It's very clever. It's using Unity. Anyway, check it out, spaces.com. This is cool.